The Leonard Center was established in 1990 with an endowment from the Leonard family. The mission of the Leonard Center is to improve engineering education at Penn State. And we do this in a lot of different ways, such as um, through our funding initiatives. Every year we invest about $500,000 back into the college for educational innovation projects with the topics ranging all over the place, anything from ethics to academic integrity to global issues to creativity in the classroom, um, and most recently relating to diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Leonard Center offers a variety of activities, such as workshops for faculty. We have a teaching seminar for graduate students. We also offer professional development programs for undergraduate through the Engineering Ambassadors. So there's lots of ways that we're trying to push the envelope in engineering education and, and do some more innovative things. And we're always looking for what's, what's up and coming, what's the next interesting and innovative idea that we can pursue. The Engineering Ambassadors Program is a professional development program for engineering undergraduates with a K-12 STEM outreach mission. So our goals in the program are really twofold. We are really trying to develop these undergraduate engineering students into um, leaders in their field, confident communicators, um, students that are going to go into industry and really affect positive change in industry. And they're developing these professional development skills through a variety of trainings and workshops and um, efforts within the program, including this K-12 outreach. So we want to give young students role models. We want to um, help them see themselves in these engineering ambassadors when they come into the classroom. Being an engineering ambassador is an amazing experience. Um, you get to interact with K through 12 kids to introduce them to engineering concepts and help them build a love for engineering, science, and mathematics really early on in their lives. And you get to interact with a lot of like-minded engineers and create lasting relationships that will last after we graduate. Personally, Engineering Ambassadors has really helped me learn more soft skills that can be very useful as an engineer because in the classroom, we're taught a lot of math, technical skills, how you'd approach different problems, but we don't always focus on how we interact with other people. Learning how to explain things to someone who's not as familiar with a topic as you is really nice and a great learning experience. Some of the projects the Lennon Center have funded for us are actually two. So one of the projects is to develop a problem-based engineering lab. So which means that it's a hands-on experience for our students. Uh, they do, it is an integrated lab, which includes all the fundamental knowledge of the mechanical engineering into a problem-based delivery mode. So another project that we have is uh, related to DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So it is a project for us to improve the culture of our department. So mainly focus on students, faculty, and staff. The Lenten Center funding is really unique because it allows us to pilot some of the idea that we have, which you may not be at the uh, moment that be able to apply for a bigger grant, right? But you can pilot those ideas, get some preliminary data, then you can bring your project forward to a bigger impact. So some of the projects the Leonard Center has funded that I've gotten the chance to work on have always been centered around improving the educational outcomes of our students. Our first project that the Leonard Center funded was working in the Learning Factory, which is the Penn State kind of maker space, especially for University Park. We were hearing that some of our students really didn't feel as welcome in this space as other students, and we wanted to understand why. And from there, we identified some, some areas for improvement, and we have been taking action in the Learning Factory to make more meaningful step towards creating a really inclusive, welcoming space. Um, but we've also just recently kicked off a project where we're hoping to run a diversity, equity, and inclusion kind of boot camp for our faculty members here in engineering design and really taking a critical look at our teaching practices and trying to understand um, systemic barriers that may make our classrooms less welcoming for individuals from underrepresented groups. What the Leonard Center is doing that's so unique is really providing faculty and administration with the tools to 
help students from underrepresented groups not just survive in engineering, but really thrive as engineering students. One thing that makes the Leonard Center really unique is our work climate. The team that we have is phenomenal. We really value each other, we respect each other, and we have fun with each other. We come to work knowing that our team is working to do its best. And one of our core values is actually exuberance. So we work hard, but we also play hard too. So we try to do those you know, work enhancement activities and have traditions such as getting dressed up for Halloween or having a picnic in the park to make sure that we can all stay connected in what we do.